So your dad got you into music, right? Yeah, I mean, that's that was kind of my introduction. You know, I mean, uh, I, I, you know, my dad's drum kit was laying around the house, 68 Ludwig. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I sat down as a kid and started messing around with it. And then, you know, somewhere around 10 or 12, I kind of started taking it seriously and then joined punk bands and then did jazz band and did all that right. kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, OK, punk, your first band's punk band? Yeah, my first band was like a terrible punk just a, band. Just yeah. a recorded louder, faster. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. It was real bad. <laughs> what was the name? Uh, no Leaf Clover. Very unique. Right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was like 12 or something. Uh, we okay, could. Well, 12 years old. That's fine. It's different when you're 19 and being No Leaf Clover. But if you're if you're 12. I, I mean, to be fair, my band at 19 wasn't great either. But. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I've read some stuff about, like, the move over to Electronica, right? And, like, the stuff you influence, even using, like, Wii. <laughs> How does that work? I mean, I, I think about, and I can't remember the name of it. Of Theremin? I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Electronic music was, uh, I, mean, I guess it really started with me being a computer nerd as a kid right. and, like, just being into computers. And as I started recording, you know, my bands and stuff I was working with, I also started messing around with synthesizers. And then, right. you know, one thing led to another and, uh, you know, started with Boards of Canada and ended with, uh, you know, house music and right. Donato Dazi. So and it was kind of as I started to get into dance music. I really started thinking a lot about the idea that, you know, because I was just really into, like, sad alternative music that's, like, slow and, like, you right. know, like, dirges, you know. And I thought about the fact, like, you know, I want to go to a show and have a good time. And so I started just kind of integrating the uh, the whole, like, dance element into the into the tunes. And as a drummer, you know, that was natural for me. Right. Like, you want more upbeat and you want to keep more in there? So, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that kind of happened. And then, then, you know, and just one thing led to another. And here we are today. Where are you going to next? I mean, what's your next stuff that you're working? I know the new album's coming out, right? Yeah, I'm just working on a new record right now and uh, just, you know, every day writing new songs and, and trying out new ideas. And, you know, it's kind of all over the place. Genre-wise, you know, I'm doing everything from uh, stuff that I would say is like, you know, closer to being inspired by like Tame Impala, like kind of psychedelic kind of pop right. stuff, all the way to like, you know, stuff that would be considered like minimal techno with like, you know, Robert DeLong over it, you know, right. with, with Beach Boy well, Styles BGVs or something. <laughs> it, it's good to be a, a fan of the history of music too and knowing that, right? And, and and having an appreciation for what came before you so you can listen to that and say, this is what has inspired me to get to here. Right, yeah. Uh, and I find that, you know, if you uh, add together all your influences and if your influences are really diverse, then no one has any idea what you're doing and you right. can get away with it. Five questions real quick. Okay. Favorite holiday? Favorite holiday? Yeah. Halloween. Android or iPhone? Uh, unfortunately, iPhone is just the way. It's just yeah. the way it has to be. Donut or banana? Banana. Really? Yeah. All hell. I just don't really like super sweet stuff. Yeah. I had one of those. Guy. I had one of those Twix earlier, and it wasn't doing it for me. If you have a day off, right? Go out with friends or night in. Chill. Oh, go out with friends for sure. Yeah. Do your own laundry. Someone do it for you. Uh, if it's up to me to do my own laundry, I just end up wearing the same shirt for days <laughs> at a time. So <laughs> I don't mind. But. Yeah, right. This is the same hat I've been hanging on to for 10 years. That explains it, man. Robert, appreciate it, brother. Totally. It's a dope hat, by the way. Quinn's Morning Fix. X1051. Kansas City's Alternative.